Hi there, and welcome back to our journey. September the 11th, fear. Fear and intimidation is a trap that holds you back. But when you place your confidence in the Lord, you will be seated in the high place. Proverbs 29, verse 25. If you live in America, it is impossible not to look at today's date and remember, whether from experience or from hearing about it over the years, one of the darkest days in our history. Thousands of lives were lost in a well-planned terrorist attack, and in many ways, things were never again the same. Air travel, for example, continues to evoke a spirit of fear in many hearts that was previously unimagined. In the New Living Translation alone, the word fear appears 601 times. Primarily, it is there to remind us to fear God. In doing so, He will abate all other fears. The fear God desires from us is not one of mistrust, but one of respect and awe. If we believe completely in His sovereign power, if we give Him all our reverence, how can we fear anything else? If God is for us, there is truly nothing to fear. Hallelujah. Lord, I lay my fear at your feet today and I place my trust in you. I know that no matter what my circumstance may be, my safety in you is secure. Amen. I hope this was a blessing to you. Come back tomorrow for another message. Take care and God bless.